intense levels of browning. It needs to have enough oil so that it's creating that kind of even crispiness. That's where like a little like squeeze bottle, I mean, so satisfying, have it all float down under there. Heady stuff. Andy and I were talking, you know, what are the what are the kinds of dishes we are craving more than ever, you know? And I think we kind of arrived at like kind of cool twists on comfort foods, but each kind of with our own like little bit of flair. And what I want to do today is the simplest roasty. For anybody who's not familiar with what that is, roasty is basically just like one big potato pancake, like one big latka. I'm ready to get into it. How are you feeling? These, I would call these potatoes slightly dainty, you know, like maybe like medium range for an Ido. So I have a little bonus potato here, just in case you're wondering why I have three and not two. It's like everything about this is sort of like, what is like the easiest possible way to do it? And then like, how do you make it like a click or two easier even after that? So you want a starchy potato. Uh, an Idaho or russet potato. You need the starch to kind of get it to bind together. You know, as long as you give a good wash and scrub on your potatoes, um, skin's great. Skin's awesome. That's where so much flavor is. Great. Looking awesome. All right, let's move this off to the side. We're gonna squeeze that in a sec. We're gonna squeeze it with our thinly sliced onion. One small onion. You don't need a lot of onion like a little kind of goes a long way. You just want it there for a little, little something. What really sets this roasty recipe apart is, you know, the fact that we're, we're not flipping it and we're also gonna top it directly with eggs. I think this just kind of turns it into an all-in-one sort of full meal. Getting, you know, as much moisture as possible out of the potatoes ensures you're gonna get a crispy roasty. This is feeling like already like pretty dry and good. If there's too much liquid in there, it's just gonna be kind of gluey. Great. And we're gonna bring this over to the stove. Oh, 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 great job, everyone. High fives all around. No salt, come on, what are we doing here? All right, so we're going with a teaspoon of diamond crystal kosher salt. I'm gonna mix that in well. So quarter cup of oil, if you manage to get any onion skin in with your potato mixture, try to fish that out. So we just want one even layer. It's not so much about how thick it is, it's just about making it even. Oh, maybe I need to like poke it, you know, sort of, sort of smush this down or whatever. Really try to resist that. Just kind of set it into an even layer. Make sure your heat's like, Fairly generous, oops, that's the oven, great. And then just kind of like leave it alone. You know, we're just, so we're gonna walk away. You're gonna see the potato go from being, you know, kind of um, opaque to a little bit more translucent, all right, as it starts to cook. But yeah, we're walking away and we're definitely not touching it. Did you see that plate just like float across the thing? The plate just moved on its own because it's got a little bit of moisture, but it just like, it just like floated. You didn't see that? Jesus Christ. Whatever, who cares about the potato? The plate was literally floating, skating across the surface. So here's what I'm looking for. I'm starting to get some really good browning. When I shake the skillet, it's all moving together. See that? It's all kind of like solidifying into a nice sort of even cake. At this stage, like, you know, if you're not sure of what's going on under there, you can always, you can take a little peek. Again, like try not to mess with it too much, but like, there we go. You know, we've got some really good color. I'd say that's just about ready to transfer to the oven. Great, let's turn the heat off. This is going into a 400 degree oven and it's gonna cook through. So the idea was, okay, you've got this like crispy potato cake. You've got eggs baked right on top of it. The point being, you know, to make this like more of a meal, why not just drop some really nicely fully dressed greens right on top of the whole shebang? And why not have a dressing that's like kind of a bit Caesar-ish? Doing a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Again, like mustard, 
as just like a one-stop shop for flavor is so good. I'm um, gonna whisk that way better than I did just then. We talked about how when you grate the garlic, you know, you really release the beast, you know, in terms of like all its pungency, all of its flavor, you know, you get sort of like an immediate sort of like wallop of it. But from the standpoint of like, let's not work too hard, a microplane is pretty banging. To that end, one half of one of these very large cloves of garlic, I think is gonna be plenty. When you're trying to be in the Caesar realm, but don't necessarily want to make your own dressing from scratch, just like a tablespoon of mayo, you know, even just a, a fairly parsimonious amount is gonna give you that creaminess and a little bit of that emulsion. That along with the, with the mustard really kind of gets you there. I mean, this is like cheater Caesar. So I think you can use it anywhere. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons of grated parm. It's just like has that nice pebbly texture. Two tablespoons of this means something. I'm sorry, if you like, two tablespoons of microplane Parmesan, throw it over your shoulder. It's not doing shit. Your last quarter cup of oil can now be added in here. Then we'll season this up. Mmm, yum. That is an unequivocal yum. Let's check on our roasty, see what's happening. So we're probably about halfway through so you can see like got a lot of like great browning. Potato on top is still a little, still a little toothsome. I'm just gonna let it go another, you know, five, eight minutes. Make sure it's cooked through before we drop eggs on top. All right. Oh yeah. Perfect. So see that just like that wisps of brown, you know, right around the top, that is where it's at. Also incredible color, incredible crispiness. Because this is a thinner roasty at the end of the day, you don't need two sides, like both, like with that level of crispiness. I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you want it all. I don't know, you do you. At least you don't have to flip it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna crack some eggs, cook them right in the oven. Let's see if I can do all six without cracking a yolk. Who wants to give odds? Oh, I did one. Huh. You know what? These eggs are weak yoked. That's, that's egg error, not me. Yeah. Perfect. See what I mean? Like the yolk kind of clouded over. There's a tiny bit of wobble in there. Severe browning. Intense levels of browning. New definition of browning. And by the time we actually eat it, it's gonna be perfect. This looks awesome. I'm really, really psyched. So all we need to do is um, dress the salad. Just a little bit of greens, dressing, tongs, and away we go. All right, we're doing it, yeah? Not that anybody needs or wants me to point this out, but like having to taste food by yourself is like, the, the, for me, like one of the biggest casualties of this year. It's like not having people around to eat the food and talk about it with me and eat with me. It's just like, it's a bummer every time, you know? So anyway, with that, here I go. Severe crunch. I love like, it's a level of crunch. Like it stays crispy forever. And you can put it down on a cutting board. It should get all steamy. It should make it all soggy. It doesn't. The areas where you see that darker brown, that's the onion. That's why you want a reasonable amount of onion in there not tons of onion, because it'll go like that level of dark. Aside from the eggs, you know, it's super plant-based plant, plant -based or plant-forward, you could say, and it's super satisfying, but without being like kind of heavy, we've already like drank plenty of coffee today, but if I hadn't, you know, this and like maybe a little coffee after, boom, you know, it's like a great way to round off the afternoon. We got through it, we're good. On to the next.
at Middle Child in Philadelphia, they do like hash browns like in your sandwich. And it's just like, what? Like, I didn't even know that was an option. It's just like, yes, a thousand times yes. <laughs>